The story uh, is that I found this sousaphone in a, in a school in uh, Ilwaka, Washington. It was just sitting on a shelf. It had been uh, out of use for some time. And I asked the teacher if I could look at it. I looked at it and said, wow, this is a pretty cool old horn. Um, eventually, the school district accepted my offer uh, to buy it at Surplus. And uh, so I brought it back to Tacoma. And it was playable. It was rough, but it was playable. And then over the course of a couple of years, I actually took some time and you know, took the dents out, cleaned it up, rebuilt the valves. It's like rebuilding a motor. You get all the compression back and everything's real smooth and tight. And uh, unfortunately, I had it completely put back together for about three weeks before somebody stole it out of the garage. The horn was built in 1928, so for it to have survived in playing condition and rebuildable uh, makes it pretty rare. I mean, there are horns like it in museums and whatnot, but to have it as a horn that I could play, and, and it's such a beautiful horn because of the, the gold wash on the inside of the bell and then the nickel body, those were, you know, sousaphones were a big deal in the, in the 20s and the 30s, so uh, companies competed to have the coolest horns out there. So this was a really cool horn. If I never get it back, I hope that somebody, whoever has it, is playing it, you know? It would be a shame if it wasn't being played. <laughs> <laughs>